From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. The Marlar House mobile app is now available, and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, watch Marlar House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marlar House store, see what's in my blog, and more. It's all in one app, and it's free for iOS and Android users. Download it now at MarlarHouse.com slash mobile or click on the mobile tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. After 146 years, the Ringling Brothers' Barnum & Bailey Circus gave its final performance on Sunday. Don't worry, though, there are plenty of circuses still performing. Uh, for example, the one at the White House. Crime is dying in Japan, leaving Japan's police to hunt for something else to do. Japan has over 259,000 uniformed officers, 15,000 more than a decade ago. At the same time, though, crime rates have been falling for 13 years. In fact, the murder rate of 0.3 per 100,000 people is among the lowest in the world. Only one gun slaying was recorded in the entire country for all of 2015. That means plenty of attention for crimes that would be considered too petty to investigate elsewhere. What are they doing in Japan? And how can we adopt that here? A disheveled Turkish student could be facing federal charges after allegedly trying to enter the cockpit of a Hawaii-bound flight until he was grabbed by passengers and duct-taped to a seat. You know, air travel is just getting more and more exciting by the day, isn't it? Steve Harvey's second ex-wife, Mary Harvey, has sued the Family Feud host for $60 million alleging that he damaged her soul. Look, how much is the soul worth? I, I mean, legally. The LA Coliseum is reportedly selling its naming rights to United Airlines. Right now, the new name of the stadium is being debated between UAL Pavilion or Drag Your Butt Out Stadium. The TV show Roseanne is coming back because Hollywood is finally willing to admit that they've run out of ideas. Dozens of Notre Dame students from the class of 2017 quietly filed out as Mike Pence began his commencement speech Sunday, carrying out a planned protest of President Trump's VP. Ooh, these graduates are just going to love the real world, where everybody's opinions and political beliefs always mirror their own. According to a new study, 25 percent of Americans don't believe in God. Hey, I can hear the new Pledge of Allegiance already and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, 75 percent under God, indivisible. A Michigan doctor has had his license suspended after performing liposuction in a barn. Yep, that'd do it. Snoop Dogg has signed with TBS to host a game show, The Joker's Wild. The show will have more commercial breaks than most other game shows to give Snoop time to get in a few tokes to keep his personality consistent. How often do you hear people say, my God would never do that, without that person having a true understanding of who God even is? Well, right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur. In the book, you'll learn the only way to discover the one true God. Get your free copy of this book right now by clicking the Free Stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. The offer expires June 2nd. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Moiler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!